Joining us now, actor turned politician, MM chief, Mr. Kamal Hassan. We are joining him on his campaign trail in Velu district of Tamil Nadu. So, thank you so much for your time. We've seen your campaigns in 2019. Comparatively, large number of people gather at your meetings now. First election after both Ms. Jailalitha and Mr. Karunanidhi passed away. Do you think now is the perfect time for you to carve a political space for you? Uh, I think the, there is political space for anyone who is willing to uh, spend his time and uh, do the right thing for people. So it's not about uh, squeezing in <laughs> into a space. It's already there for anyone who is willing to come into politics. I am one of them. So there is space. and. Uh, any time is the right time. I feel that I should have come long time back, which I didn't because I I thought everything will be taken care of by so-called professionals. But there's nothing called professional when it comes to public service. Right, right, right. You invoke late Chief Minister Mr. M. G. Ramachandran at all your meetings. Uh, do you think he's still relevant now, or is it an attempt to? Draw his diehard fans. No, my the, the relevance of a leader is about the personality and the deeds done by him, and those deeds are not permanently uh, what you call uh, imitable deeds. It was the need of that hour. Those needs keep changing. So, uh, but I can always invoke the spirit and get. Uh, uh, what do you call, excited and uh, inspired by it. For example, Mr. MGR, though he didn't belong to uh, the party of, of Mr. Kamraj, he invoked his name and he even copied his ideas, which is still relevant. We might do it and might go a step further. So um, it is giving my salute to my predecessor and I, I was close to him, I knew him, uh, though not politically, I was not involved in politics with him, but I was quite close to him and uh, that's why I, I dare take his name. The name Nale Namade itself right. uh, is uh, one of his, I was supposed to act in that film. I missed that opportunity because of my, uh, it was unfortunate that I couldn't do that film. Mr. M. G. R. actually also had groomed himself in his films, projecting himself as a real good man, and he tried to become that kind of a political leader. But you perhaps didn't do it that way. No, I didn't do it in films, but I did it in personal life. For the past 40 years, we've been, I, I've been uh, the uh, uh, founder of a, a welfare organization called uh, uh, Narpani Yakam, uh, Kamal Hasan's Narpani Yakam, and it has been there every time people were in need of help, and even when they didn't, we, we are the probably the largest single source uh, eye donors, blood donation. We are known for it over the past 40 years. So that is how I projected myself. Is in a sense Big Boss uh, the real voice of Kamal Hasan? I Big Boss. The real voice of Kamal Hassan? That is why they like it, because every other film, they what they see is a character. This is the first time they see the man and his intent and his true speak. Your key promises this time, sir, what would you list them as? Qu quite a few. We are releasing uh, a seven-point program almost ev every week. Uh, we, we, we don't take any one of them less seriously than the other. We, we are probably the only pa one, one party which talks very vehemently and has plans for uh, environmental uh, laws and how it should be followed, how stringent we should be to save uh, our land. And uh, we are talking about something uh, uh, called uh, a, a, a government remuneration for housewives. It's a great idea and when implemented you'll realize how much it'll improve the profile of our economics in the, in the world stage. How much do you have in mind monthly? 
No, that is a larger subject, and uh, the compensation, the income, the average income, all these comes into play. It's important. Yeah, it is. Uh, I beg your pardon. Is it important? It is very important because you can't. Uh, flat, there could be a flat price, but uh, there are certain people who do more for the family, and uh, it, it's almost like uh, um, a tedious kind of deduction. You could do it for the sake of the housewife. What is your take on the issue of prohibition? That's again very close to women. Uh, Miss Jailalitha promised that she could not fulfill it fully. See, we, we are not hypocrites. Around the world, we have seen through history that prohibition, when uh, promulgated, created a very strong mafia, which even the governments cannot control. And uh, alcohol, imbibing alcohol has been, it's almost as old as uh, agriculture. So. The idea of a government using IAS officers to promote uh, the uh, liquor business is what we are against. And it need not be proliferated like it is now. Uh, everywhere. I mean, uh, there are m more task marks than pharmacies or uh, post boxes or right. uh, uh, um, Xerox machines right, right. In, 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 in this uh, uh, state. And that can be reduced and it should be given to private people with stringent laws and price control and quality control so that uh, and even strict uh, uh, policing of hooch and other right. illegal spirits uh, because it's, it's, it's connected to health. In terms of alliance, are you looking at getting some parties join you? Post elections, would you be open to join hands with any of these Dravidian parties? See, our USP is honesty. So we'll have to keep that USP, and that will exclude most of the parties. DMK, ADMK? Most of them. Now, that was not a time to speak about it also. Um, not merely because uh, of a strategy. There are more breakups up ahead and there are more alliances which will be formed right. and then we will make a choice. Earlier, both you and Mr. Rajnigant had expressed uh, willingness to work together if required. Now Mr. Rajnigant has opted out. Are you going to seek his support? Uh, will his endorsement help you in a big way? It will. I mean, goodwill always helps. But I'm, what we have to do is take on, this is a battle between decency and indecency. This is a battle between honesty and corruption. So people will have to now take sides. People will have to endorse those who are trying to do something different. It's not just uh, throwing out the East India Company. Any corrupt conglomerate should be thrown out. And Have you spoken to him? No? Have you spoken to him after his announcement? Uh, no, I haven't, but I will because I've always been on campaign mode. You will seek his uh, support. I beg. Will you seek his support? Oh, I will. I'll seek anyone's support, and he's a friend, so I will. Right. And uh, you lay emphasis on use of technology, particularly on e-governance. Uh, that's very important. And uh, how do you look at the digital India? The central government often takes pride in. See, good ideas come to everyone. How you implement is what matters. We are very serious about it, and. Um, the people who are there are not just members with enthusiasm. They've been there and done it, like Santosh Babu, and uh, there are so, so many doctors who know what is ailing the medic medical uh, profession, and they have ideas, and they are all implementable. The only uh, problem and w what is impeding it is corruption. So we'll have to weed that out and it's not going to be easy, but it'll have to start from the top. It's possible to completely make sure people need not come to government offices? That's, that's what we're trying, and I, I think it's possible because the Right to Services Act is something that we have taken very seriously. Right, and uh, is there a space for national parties like the BJP or Congress to capture power in Tamil Nadu? Right now, the BJP by verdict of the people is irrelevant to Tamil Nadu. 
we don't know what will happen. People might change their mind. But this time around, they have shown their inclination. You don't need analysts to understand it. The talk on the street, mm -hmm. and who knows it better than you people. In terms of challenges, what do you face on the ground? You're, you're, you're facing two giants, the Dravidian parties, in terms of the political manpower and muscle power and money power. Yes, uh, we are a nascent party. We, we are aware of it and uh, we are quick to learn, willing to learn. We have no concrete uh, uh, way of how we should be and how things should be done. And uh, as you said, uh, when we talk of muscle, yes, they invariably send at least one drunken man to create a brawl and an empty ambulance to clear the crowd. All these tricks are being done. We are watching it with a smile and we are circumventing it through being wise and this is it. You're also suggesting what many, what you call as a circular economy, also emphasizing recycling, reuse, and what you call as environment atlas. Yes. Uh, many would say you're always ahead of your times. And will these have a kind of a connect with uh, people on the ground? No, but it's not about, it will connect when they see the results. Right now, all these plans need not be fully understood by the people, but uh, some of them do. It's nothing to do with education, it's to do with the logic and uh, basic human intelligence. They do seem to understand when we say why we are doing all this, because they've seen the impact of neglect and uh, uh, abuse of nature and its resources. So now is probably a good enough time as ever to start it. There's nothing called ahead because we are so far behind compared to the rest of the world. It's high time that we do something, take action, so that tomorrow's generation at least enjoys a better environment than we do now. Would your daughters join you or will they campaign for you? No, they're, they're not very keen. They're, as it is, happy to be onlookers and they're excited by all the support we are getting. They just watch, I think, probably uh, from the sidelines. Yeah, they, this is not going to be a dynasty. Right. And you are someone known for perfection. You do lots of preparation, hard work for your roles in films. As a politician, what does it mean now? How difficult or easy it is? It is any work, any uh, endeavor needs a certain amount of preparation and this more so. But it is not a single man performance. It's a democracy. So there are a lot of experts. If only I have the humility to take advice from actual experts instead of doing what will be most profitable for me personally as they have been doing. If I do that, then this government will also fail that we don't intend to do. So I think we have hope and we have great people to prepare us for the battle because we can't be doing everything. I mean, um, we talk to medical experts, we talk to environmental experts, scientists. That makes a good leader. That, that makes a, a good environment for everybody to work with. The word leader is very embarrassing for me. And the word honorable leader, all that is very embarrassing. I, wa I would like to call all of them, even when they are sit in their powerful seats, to call themselves civil servants and not honorable so and so. Uh, so, -and -so. Uh, they, they have to earn that honorifics by being honorable, not just by inheriting it by virtue of garnering oaths. Your torchlight symbol, which on which you contested last time, the Lok Sabha elections, is in trouble now. Uh, is that going to be a challenge for you? It is a bit of a challenge, but we had only 18 days to promote what is now called our symbol. Uh, but uh, I think uh, we deserve that uh, by uh, the set of rules that even the EC has uh, spoken. So we are waiting for the right decision and uh, we'll come uh, take what comes. 
Who's your arch rival, Chief Minister EPS or the leader of opposition MK Stalin? Corruption. <laughs> and uh, both of them have been uh, charged at one time or, uh, or another. They were, and these are now practicing it, hence, by priority, my uh, guns are turned towards AIDMK. And people say, why don't you? do the same with DMK, because right now what ails Tamil Nadu is this party and its leaders. So I think our Tamil Nadu's opposition is this, these people. Right. You're promising salary for housewives. You're also promising a computer for every home as a common resource property. Are these indirect ways of populism? No, it is making e-governance possible, pragmatic, I, I, call it populism, I, uh, but we, we didn't intend it from that angle at all. It's not optics. It's actually what uh, kind of benefits it will reap once everything is in place. Then um, the, the results that it will produce will be exponential, that we don't have to anymore advocate the cause. Right. And what difference you see in public response when you go for campaigning across Tamil Nadu compared to 2019 elections and now? It's tenfold, exponential. And people around everyone, at every strata in the party, they are reporting, that's the intelligence I get from the party, kind of. They don't come to see the actor Kamal Hassan, but they come to see, uh, listen to politician Kamal Hassan? Yes. I, I don't know whether you were attending the influencers meeting the rapt attention with which they listen and also the way they interact with pertinent questions and there's no one-upmanship in the audience neither from my side nor from theirs they're genuinely interested in crafting a better society than the one they are living in now and what would you tell to those people who say in your case it could be seen as a post-retirement career for you, politics? I'm a lawyer's son and I'm an actor uh, by prof chosen profession. Both of them don't think or have anything called retirement. <laughs> so my mindset is that that as long as you fit both mentally and physically, you are, uh, you can work in, in the field of your choice. It's an interesting format you have, partly indoor meetings and then a kind of a road show. Are these because of restrictions or you have planned it this way? No, I wanted more outdoors because of the COVID times, because social distancing is something we cannot uh, sort of implement. If it's a large hall, then people do crowd and uh, crowd is what this is all about. So outdoors, I prefer. Also, they don't give us permission for any kind of meeting, even outdoor meetings. They cancel it at the last moment uh, or they would cut the electricity like they did yesterday um, or they would say no speaking sometimes we just walk through I do sign languages and <laughs> it's so silly but uh, that's what happens while they do have large meetings and blaring speakers we, we have to limit ourselves with the uh, what restrictions they give. Youth are a key part of your target? Absolutely. Not even target. They're already there. My my uh, crowd is full of young people, and some of them are uh, um, educated and unemployed. You can see that because they shout out slogans asking me, what are you going to do for us? And when I ask them to explain who us means, they say we are unemployed. We I'm an engineer. I'm so and so, I did a diploma, I'm jobless. So that's the kind of crowd we get, and they are first time voters. And yeah. your plan for tackling unemployment? See, our education, because of the way it is being dealt, there are dropouts, large scale dropouts, school dropouts. I am a dropout myself. I always believed that the second Satyagraha is skills, skill set development or uh, the Khadi woman kind of a thing. And uh, once we do that and we succeed in skilling our youth, instead of just giving them the formal, regular 
uh, in quotes, degrees and diplomas, if you can skill them the, to uh, not just local standards but international standards, suddenly their profile will increase and the country's profile will also increase. That's my aim. And uh, that's why even in shows like Big Boss, I promote Khadi. I'm even thinking of starting a line, a fashion line, so that it, it, it is not connected with a political movement alone, but with fashion and the pride of India. Farmers protesting in Delhi for over a month. Uh, how would you look at this in terms of the uh, government response at the center? Um, the center's response is not palatable. They should, they should answer, they should have a dialogue, or it will only worsen. It's, uh, and our support is for the farmers, because uh, it, it's, it's not, uh, it's justified. It, it's not you want the laws repealed? Huh? You want the farm laws repealed? Absolutely, absolutely. Carefully renegotiate. We, we are not infallible. What, what did happen with demonetization? should not happen with agriculture in India. Is there a need for a television channel for MLM? Well, no, right now you're all, you're all being kind, so I don't see it happening. If you continue to be kind, I may not need a channel at all. Is there someone you regard as your political idol in real life? Uh, Mr. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. <laughs> So I always th thought of him as uh, my, I found him, I discovered him. Your answer for those who call you as you are someone's B team, the BJP's B team? If at all I would be anybody's B team, it will be Gandhiji's <laughs> B team. Uh, that's what I'd like to call myself, which actually makes me the A team. <laughs> right, right. Four months from now, elections will be over. The day after results, where would we see Mr. Kamal Hassan? Uh, uh, me with the, the head on the shoulders, as I am now, uh, but where they place me is for people to decide, and that's where I'll be. Your message for people in Tamil Nadu? As I began this interview, this is a battle between the corrupt and the straightforward. Or, and um, when we talk about the larger people, it's about the right way to live and uh, the wrong way that we are living now. Thank you so much, Mr. Kamal Hassan, for your time. It's going to be a fascinating elections in Tamil Nadu this time and wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Kamal Hassan talking to us on his campaign trail in Velour with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.